The upper reaches of our oceans are filled with a stunning array of life. But just a few hundred feet beneath the surface, the light quickly fades. By the time you reach the bottom, thousands of feet below, the pressure is crushing, the temperatures near freezing, and you're bathed in total darkness. It's hard to imagine anything surviving down here. But there is life. Alien creatures that eke out an existence in the harshest corners of our planet. It's no wonder that Earth is commonly referred to as the Big Blue Marble. Nearly three quarters of its surface is covered by water. But as far as ocean exploration goes, we've only dipped our toes in the surf. More than 75% of the ocean lies more than half a mile beneath the surface in a vast world that's barely been explored. In fact, more people have stood on the moon than journeyed to the deepest spot in the ocean, known as Challenger Deep, more than 36,000 feet beneath the sea. We know that life on Earth originated in the sea and evolved there three billion years before our earliest ancestors crawled ashore. But we're just starting to discover the world they left behind. It's hard to imagine a more forbidding place than the icy cold, deep ocean. It's even harder to imagine anything living there. Researchers are only recently discovering the incredible range of animals that have adapted to life in this challenging environment. Some have transparent bodies, enabling them to blend right into the surrounding waters. Others seem to be all teeth. And while only a few land dwellers, like fireflies, can make their own light, bioluminescence is all the rage in the deep sea. Jellyfish, starfish, clams, worms, crustaceans, squid, fish, and sharks are just some of the groups of marine animals that use a chemical reaction to create light. If an organism can make its own light, it can gain a distinct advantage when hunting for food or evading predators. We're only beginning to understand these exotic creatures of the deep sea. Now, the race is on to find out more before their world is changed forever. The oceans of the world have similar features. At a depth of just over two miles, the seabed flattens out. These are the abyssal plains, which cover over half of our planet. They're carpeted with more than a thousand feet of muddy sediment, the remains of plants and animals that died and sank over millions of years. In the middle of the abyssal plain lies a vast mountain chain, the Mid-Ocean Ridge. The Mid-Ocean Ridge system wraps around the globe like seams on a baseball. Running along its spine is a rift formed by plate tectonics. In the Atlantic, the plates spread slowly, producing a chasm roughly as wide and deep as the Grand Canyon. But in the Pacific, the plates spread faster, causing increased volcanic activity. Far beneath the sea, rising magma fuels a vast network of scalding hot hydrothermal vents, home to some of the strangest life forms on our planet. Not long ago, 
scientists discovered they support a large community of giant tube worms and other bizarre critters that can withstand the highly caustic, dark, and high-pressure environment. If these extremophiles could thrive in such hostile conditions, perhaps this dark universe could be home to other alien creatures. For centuries, scientists thought the depths of our oceans were largely lifeless. But today, these mysterious deep-sea denizens are helping researchers make medical history. Most people tend to believe that the primary reason for investigating the deep sea is scientific curiosity. That is, until they learn that these ecosystems are the source of promising new drugs for treating some of the most deadly human diseases. Most drugs in use today come from nature. But recently, researchers have found that marine invertebrates produce more antibiotic, anti-cancer, and anti-inflammatory substances than any of their terrestrial counterparts. If we can collect enough information to create a baseline, we can make decisions about how to protect these unique and vital ecosystems. Our future health and the health of our entire planet may depend on it.